This is the video of the circuit boards in this YA205 MIG welder. The, um, let's see, where should I start? This is the dial board. Here's, you could, there's the selector switch, so they would go like this. Selector switch, three potentiometers. That hooks into this three wires, which would be the last three pins on the, I believe, number one connector. And the other thing on that connector, and then the first three pins, is the speed potentiometer, which adjusts the motor speed for the feed. There is two other wires here. Those go out the front. And those two wires go to the bottom button, which is the inch button, which is feeds the motor so you can feed the wires into the gun. <laughs> this connection here is three wires. That loops around here, goes to this part, transistor, I believe it is, or MOSFET. I believe this is some kind of driver for, I assume, the motor for the speed. There is a pair of gray, okay, let's skip, okay, there's, these feed off to the motor, I believe that's just a 12 volt DC motor. Those two pins are blank, that would be connector number three. Gray and black go off over here, and those go head out to the displaced, and there goes the trigger. These two wires are the first issue. There's no voltage on these when I hit the trigger. These hook to the solid state relay, which is buried down there. They were too short, so I had to remove them to do this. And then there's this last connector here. Is the Looks like two the f two wires on the pin one and two go off into the solenoid coil, and the other two wires I already know they go off over here to this purge button, which purges the gas out of the line, which would activate that solenoid, and that does actually work. Both these buttons work. All these potentiometers seem to work because when I adjust these knobs, I would get like a different spot time weld. I would get like a stitch, different pulses with both of these adjusted. I believe the issue is with this one of these transistors here which hooks to pin hooks into these yellow and white wires, which is connector three in the last two pins there, so it's that triangle shaped trace and that had some diodes and stuff in that transistor. And I don't really know if, what the issue is on that PCB, so that's pretty much where I'm at.